so I'm a bit new to all of this. This is my first video alone, I think. Yeah, I'm the eldest son. So, recently today, earlier today, I was carving. I like to carve. I carve a lot of stuff, spoons, knives. Today I carved an axe handle. So it had an old broken axe handle that uh, needed some work. So I decided to carve one. Me and my other brother recently did this. We have an entire uh, wood pile for our future stove. So we made that Thursday, two days ago. And yesterday we made those little L stands you saw on the ends to hold up the wood. And over there is our wood cutting place. I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, and then I'll show you the axe. So I went and got the axe. It was hanging in our shop because it was drying from the wood glue. I basically got the axe head fitted on it from the old one after I had carved it. And I had screwed it down and everything. And I went to chop some wood and the dry one, the dry wood cut great. But the, uh, the live wood did not cut so great. And it splintered it a bit. So here's my... Here's my little space for where I carved the wood. And here's the ax. It's uh, pretty big, I guess. Just a nice little ax handle. And there's the ax head. You can see I fitted it on right there. Or fit, fit it on right there. So uh, this is actually not the first handle that I started with. Um, I see if I can show you the second one. Okay, so now I'm sideways. I have the uh, the tripod with me. Help me uh, video a bit better. So last one I showed you the the handle that's on there right now. I'm um, gonna see if I can find. Yeah, so here, right here is where I cut off. Uh, right here, yeah, it's where I cut off the first branch, and that didn't work so well. Uh, the branch is not over here anymore. I thought it was over here. Um, anyway, for that entire thing, I uh, tried to saw through it with this, and it's that didn't go so well. I, it usually works for all the smaller carvings I do, but not for this one. So I was over here. This is this is where the second branch came from. This is the, the stump from the second branch. And that one wasn't too thick. I guess, I guess it was just two inches, three inches thick between there. Ended up being inch and a half thick and an inch thin, I guess. Here's the uh, saw that I ended up using. <laughs> Works a bit better. So got that cut and then I came over here with my knife and here is the old axe handle so it it's an actual handle probably from the store uh, I found the uh, first piece of wood that I had cut and now that I look back on it I'm like what was I thinking that is that curve is just pretty bad and that would not have worked. Actually, looks good on the video. Does not look good right in my hand. Anyway, yeah, that was I guess. And it looks better in its form, I guess. But as you can see right there, the wood, the, the wood came out from the middle and the, there was nothing right there. The axe, axe head slid right off. So then I put, I put a couple screws right there um, to hold the axe head down, although it was already pretty tight on there. But then, yeah, I just, I went over and then I have these, these wooden pieces and just cut them, cut them through and then it goes over there to our, uh, our wood pile. So, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Made my own axe handle, even though it split the first time I used it. Probably gonna have to let it dry out for a while. If you liked this video, 
and subscribe and like or just look for our other videos. Thanks for watching.